Damien Platz. Uh, people don't put that's uh, Ron is Romanian, isn't it? Yes, Ron is, is Romanian. That's that's about seven or eight dollars. Uh, people don't put enough emphasis on the importance of having a powerful network. It's true, guys. A power, a useful network. I mean, listen. I know Paul, not Paul. I know that uh, Andrew has his war room. I've got my own community. Um, people will 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 flick boogers at these things, but they don't understand the power of the network and what happens unless you're inside it and you see the use of it and you see the connections that are made and 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 the work that's done beyond that. I know because um, I've talked to Andrew privately a few times that. There's a lot of useful stuff that happens in men's communities, especially high level men's communities where you have top shelf men. I mean, if you're doing some basic shit, um, you know, doing like a book club or you've got like a, a video game raid on World of Warcraft or some shit, that's pretty entry level stuff. The kind of things that Andrew and I talk about to our guys in our community are very high level. And to be able to make a few phone calls and say, hey, take this, you know, take care of this, that or the other thing. You want those people in your inner circle. You absolutely want them. Their network is very, very powerful. Uh, Eric says, Tate, you're a master Completely. strategist. Go ahead. Uh, no, but let's look at very recently GME and GameStop. Look at how Reddit took on the, the hedge funds. Right. People are going to sit there and laugh at your network or my network when a bunch of Redditors got together and, and bankrupted a hedge fund. Right. That's the power of networking. Yes. That's absolutely the power of networking. That's all it's ever been. And, and you know, it's... It, I love the idea of being able to go to a group of people who I can trust with, with a problem before I have to go to Google or any other crap and get it solved, right? Anyone who's going to sit there, the truth is anyone who's going to sit there and, and, and make fun of networks, they're just self-conscious and they don't believe they're going to be accepted into a network because they're a self-conscious individual. That's they a, usually have, you know you have value to provide. You yeah. want, the first thing you want to do is find other high-value guys. That's exactly. all you want to do. Exactly. They usually protest because they can't afford the admission or they think that there's dodgy things it's 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 usually just because they don't fit in it and it's like fine you know if you don't fit then don't fit but come back you know if you want to when you when you're a good fit you know it's it's not difficult eric you said one more you said something really important there uh, yeah go ahead. you said about not affording the price of admission and that's mm -hmm. another thing that i find very interesting is that when you speak to a person who is of low quality right and when i say low quality i don't even mean income because i'm from a low income background i mean a low quality person they think in terms of win-lose because mm -hmm. their whole life they've either been scamming someone or being scammed. So when they look at a network like yours or mine, they sit there and go, well, maybe it's a scam. Maybe he's going to take my money and I get nothing back. What happens when you meet with elite people is we all think in terms of win-win. It's a different mentality, right? So the win-win mentality is me and him are going to work together and we're both going to win. There doesn't have to be a loser. Amongst the elites, when elites work together, it's always win-win. The pharma company and the government are working together right now. It's win-win. Don't worry about it. Nobody's losing, right? Except the people outside of the transaction. And this is what you'll have. A lot of people who flick boogers and networks are just people who are low quality and think in terms of win-lose. They go, well, if I pay this fee, he's won, so I must lose. That's absolutely not the case. If you pay to join Richard's network or my network or any network or whatever it is, that's okay. The person who got you to join may win, but you're going to win in exchange also because you're around high value individuals. This is how the elites have stayed the elite. It's it's like a tornado. It's an upward spiral of endless winning. Win, 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 win. When a bunch Tides of lifting all the ships. See, here's the thing, right? I mean, like I've got a guy that I can think of off the top of my head in my group that I could, like I won't even call him. I won't text him. We use a um, app that is, uh, it's untraceable and the messages, you know, disappear. Let's just, I'm not even going to say what the app is, but, you know, if I need to make a problem yeah. go away, then I would message him. I've got my code name on it. He's got his. And then, you know, you carry on through it. But you're not going to have access to these tools because you don't have access to the toolbox. And if you want access to the toolbox, you have to pay the admission. Like if you're not, you want to be the dumbest guy in a room, basically, when it comes to a network, you don't want to be the smartest guy in the room. You want to be the new guy. You want to be right. you know, the guy that shows up. And when you show up, you don't want to show up asking all the time either, right? Gimme, 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 gimme. You, you need to show up being useful. Like I'm sure, you know, these guys that you mentioned in Las Vegas that you drop a call and you fly them out and they, and they show up and they make their presence known, they're probably not senior members, my age, you know, sort of thing. They're probably younger, newer guys. Yeah. Yep. 
exactly. And this is the thing. And you yeah. nailed it as well in terms of asking. A lot of people don't understand the value of networking because, listen, when I was young and broke, I would have done anything to just be around important people. You have to know your place. And, and also by providing value, you learn a lot. Like, it, it's amazing to me. Like, people watch movies and stuff. You watch the old gangster movies. There's always a new guy who joins and he earns their trust by doing things. And then he, he moves his way up. And then, but then you'll get in, in this modern world, a new guy will think, oh, well, just jump in and start asking people for things. That's not how it works. You have to provide value to give value. And you're going to learn a lot of lessons when you provide value. Like if, if someone important enough comes along to me with a problem, I would love to help them out because it will also help me learn. It will help me, you know, like you grow as an individual when you think that way. Mm. So, yeah, it's just absolutely a mindset that the elites have. It's a win-win mindset that, that low-level people just don't seem to have. Eric says, Tate, you're a master strategist. Sun Tzu, The Art of War, Personified. That's a good book. Make sure you read that. Read The 48 Laws of Power. It's got some useful tools in it as well. You should connect with Marquette recently on F&F, Fresh and Fed, I'm guessing, from The Saint and the Sinner. He's your brother from another mother. Do you know who Marquette is? I do not, but I'll check him out. Check him out. I've I've never heard of him either. Uh, action movie clip says, "Hey, Rich and Tatum, twenty years old, living in America with only fifteen hundred in my bank account, working nine to five. What's the best way to start making more money and how I get around high level into uh, Okay, you want to take this one? Well, you have online networks, but I'll tell you a really easy hack because I've seen a lot of Romanian kids do this, and I thought it was pretty clever. Have you ever been to? So, what happens in in Eastern Europe if you go to a car meet? These kids turn up, these 19-year-old kids with these amazing cameras, and they offer to take pictures of the cars, and they often offer to take pictures of you and the cars, and, and they build these Instagram pages of like uh, car fan pages. And I was talking to one of the kids, and I was like, hey, why, why do you do this? Like, you, you, you're a car fan or whatever. And he goes, no, I just want to meet important guys. And I thought that was really clever. Mm -hmm. I thought, you're 18. He, he took his, instead of going to uni, he spent all his uni money on a camera. And now he's hanging around all the millionaires taking pictures and everyone's hanging out with him talking to him because he takes their photos and he's getting like photography jobs and video editing jobs and jobs on the side. I'm like, you're making more money than your parents. I mm -hmm. thought that was pretty clever, but that's no, just that, a little, it's pretty that's, smart, no? Yeah, that's a great way to put it. And I've often said to guys, you know, if you can join a car club, a, a car community, I mean, obviously you're not going to get in with the hypercars and the supercars, but if you've got a few bucks to run, you know, rub together and you can buy a 20 or $30,000 decent you know a performance car a bmw m a amg mercedes like something like that um start going to those clubs there's going to be people at those events with supercars with doors that go up there's going to be people that you might have an opportunity to photograph you know like andrew said that's a great way to get into it i mean the big mistake that most guys make and i'll tell you this because i get it all day long i'm sure you get this too andrew is can i pick your brain can i get 15 minutes of your time hey can i ask you a question oh my and gosh, yeah. i mean like you've got a entry level club that people can get into i think it's called the hustlers university it's like 50 bucks a month correct yeah so i mean there's that the, the price to entry is relatively low or you could just show up to places and make yourself useful and instead of asking can i pick your brain because what rich people usually hear is this guy wants to steal my time and pick my pocket OK, they don't they don't think to themselves yeah. like, you know, OK, I need to help this guy because he's got nieces, nephews, sons, daughters. He's got family members. He's got, you know, his his, his friends, kids that he tries to help out. So if you're a nobody to them and they don't and they don't know you show up being useful first, helping them solve a small problem, offer them a photo shoot with their car. You know, that day, if that's something that you can do, you know, that's one thing that you can do. But don't show up asking, show up giving to begin with if you know you want to start with something like that.